What's up, YouTube? We're back with some 2K23 Hornets series. Um, we're going to continue with episode 2. And I think we're going to be playing the Pelicans today. I don't know if we'll play the whole game. I'm pretty sure we will just because of the amount of star power on this team. Um, I know it's been a while since I've had the series going. That's my bad. I've been trying out the streaming. Um, doing some Black Ops 3 streaming, Roblox. We've been doing a lot of other games. Even Phasmophobia. I want to start getting into horror games. Um, but real quick, uh, just want to remind you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, share the video. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. January 1st of 2024 is my goal to get 100 subscribers. Um, so if you want to help me reach that goal, definitely feel free to leave a like and subscribe. All right, let's get into this. All right, so just a quick update since it's been about two weeks since my last video. Um, we... This is our team right now. We got Lamelo Ball. Everybody's pretty happy. We had a great first game against the number one overall pick, um, Victor Webanyama. And if you guys have seen last video, we had JT Thor go off. He played phenomenal for us. And I made him our sixth man at getting 24 minutes a game. Um, I did knock Kai Jones out of the rotation. I think he'll be good, but he's just not good enough yet. So we might send him to the G League, get him mentored. All that good stuff. We got James Booknight coming off the bench for a point guard. Um, no, I'm really excited about this se season and the series. And I'm sorry that it took so long to get back into it. Uh, last game, Terry Rozier. We played terrible with him. We could not make a shot. So before we even play a game, I'm going to go into freestyle. And I'm going to practice everyone's jumper just for like five minutes each. So I will be back. Before we get into the game. Alright, I'm back from the freestyle. Got everybody's jumpers down a decent amount. Uh, I'd just like to show you guys what I did real quick off camera. So I went into the roster. And I ended up doing face scans for some of the players. I think this is Brendan Miller's. I'm not for sure. Um, I just found it. I looked it up. And somebody already had it on here. I'm not talented enough to actually import face scans and do all that. Um, obviously, I only did it for, like, the top five picks. Um, I didn't do it for anybody like um, Amari Bailey. Like, I didn't, I didn't get that far. Um, I only wanted the important people like Brendan Miller, Scoot Henderson. I know he doesn't really have a face scan, but I found a good version of his face. So, like, I got Brendan Miller's. I got, I got Victor Webanyama's face in here, even though he looks like Usman Diang. I got, here's Scoot Henderson's. I think his looks pretty good. Um, he I know he looks a little bit older, but for for uh, face creation, I don't think it looks bad at all. So, we're going to get started. We're going to start off the game. That's the Pelicans. Um, so, I don't know if we'll play the full game. I know for sure we're going to end up doing a, like, at least a first quarter, third quarter. Um, so we'll see how this goes, depending on how close it is. Wow, Brennan Ingram's hair is wild. No way. Jonas Valanciunas on our head. Brandon. Second chance effort. There we go. Brandon Miller's just big. No way. Good D. Good D. Beat him. Feed him. Feed him. Bang. Come on, Gordon. Play good D. Mark Williams the block. Good help. What? Gordon. What kind of pass is that? I have no words. Where's our rebounders? Zion Duncan over Gordon Hayward. Lamelo, bang! Stay there. Stay there. On the wing, Jones. Good block. What? 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 2K. 
You know, back in college, in oh, oh, the dunk. Pass to Richards. Nick Richards, dunk it down low. Good shit. Here's Miller. Brandon Miller, all the way. Take it down. Good D. Good D. Good D. Fast break. Here come the Hornets. Brandon Miller. To stop the run. He can't get that one to fall. This is a great, and so it's the great Charlotte first Hornets quarter. Finishing. All right, so real quick before the second quarter starts, we're going to simcast this. Um, just because I want to speed up the videos. I don't want them to be 40 minutes long because of um, just the whole game being played. And I want to be able to have two games in one video, um, possibly even three, depending on the situation. So right now we're just going to simulate till we get to, to halftime. All right, so the Pelicans are starting to make a comeback. All right. So we're going to play the third quarter, and then we will simcast the fourth quarter. If we lose, that's fine. If we win, that's fine. Um, this is a rebuilding year. I pre prefer that we lose, but, you know, a win is never a bad thing. So Brandon Miller, I want you to cook. Cook in the post. He's little. Brandon Miller, rise up. Mark Williams. Great contest down low. Allowing no... Euro dunk. From deep three point there it is. Range. Bang. The middle ball. And they're balanced. They play tremendous. The middle ball. Take it. And it's book night in for the middle. Brandon Miller. Oh my god! He's ready to put on a show. Here's Miller. He knocks it down. Do we hop in and watch? I'd say we hop in and watch. I don't think we should play, but I think we should watch. Not in that camera. So obviously we've got the free throws. And an intentional foul right there. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. So the first one drops. And that makes it a good chance. CJ McCollum is fearless. That's why they want the That's going to make it close. Let's we'll see what we can do. To these late game moments. All but over now. Those free throws help seal the deal. Pass to Miller. Brandon Miller? Brandon Miller! Oh my god! That's insane, Brandon Miller! I'm putting the controller down. That controller's down. Hands are up. It's not me playing. I will be skipping through this stuff, though. CJ misses it. We just need a two to tie if he makes this one. He doesn't waste many free throws. And he does get the second one. Wow, we and just need a two to tie. We could be going into overtime. The three from ball. No good from three point. Why did we shoot a three? They wanted the win. That's the game. That's how we end it, LaMelo. That's how we end it. That was not a good game, Lamelo. I'm going to be honest. I feel like you could have done more. I feel like you shot a lot and didn't make a lot. I mean, yeah, the stat line's fine, but the shooting and the paint's pretty bad. That minus 11. Brandon Miller, though, 34, 10, 5, and 2 is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. That's all right. It's a rebuilding year. I'm okay with that. 
And we are just going to sim through this game. Um, yeah. I, I really didn't think we were going to win anyways. Um, with at least the Pelicans, I thought we had a chance. I guess I should probably guys show you guys the whole stat lines. All right, so the Pelicans, we had 34, 10, and 5, and 2. Brandon Miller. That is insane. LaMelo Ball had a good counting stats game. I don't think he had a good impact. I mean, that plus minus is terrible. Um, Nick Smith Jr. coming in. Scoring a ton. That's what he's here for. Literally, that's all he's here for. Um, Mark Williams getting some blocks and rebounds. That's why I like Mark Williams. Um, obviously, he didn't play the best. I feel like Jonas kind of kind of threw him around like a little baby. JT is a sixth man. I thought he didn't play bad, um, but I expected this from him. Not a 17 points per game like he had that first game or whatever. 21. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect him to stay at that. I expect him to stay at like a... 14, 13, maybe 15 if we're lucky. Um, I don't see him being any better than that, at least his first year, because he is only a 72 overall. Um, Terry Rozier was 7, 4, and 8. I'm surprised he didn't shoot more, especially when we were simming. Gordon Hayward, garbage. If is Gordon Hayward on his last deal, or last year of his deal, we're, if we can, we're going to try to trade him away to a buying team. Um... Nick Richards played pretty good. James Booknight played pretty good. Um, Martin. Cody Martin. He played pretty bad this game. I'm not going to lie. And then Kai Jones. I thought he played pretty decent. I liked it when he was in. He had two blocks in what? Three minutes? Yeah. Yeah, he played pretty good. But Zion with 32, 4, and 1. 13 for 19 shooting. 6 for 9 from free throw. Yeah, he went off. CJ McCollum cooked LaMelo Ball, I guess. I didn't think LaMelo got cooked that much. 27, 5, and 8. Good shooting. Uh, Brennan Ingram. Kind of got clamped by my guy, Brandon Miller. I mean, Brandon Ingram was not finding a lot of shots. Uh, Jonas, like I said, just kind of bullied uh, Mark Williams. Larry Nance played really good. Um, he, he got a couple posters. Trey Murphy played okay. Um, Herb Jones, I thought, played okay. Alvarado, I thought, played good. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Ubre played pretty bad for a starter. 21 points. But, no, it was a close game. Um, it shows that we can kind of compete with some of these teams that might be in, like, the play-in or the playoffs. Interesting to see. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it's, it's interesting to see. And with the Hawks, let's see. DeJounte at 31 had a phenomenal shooting game. Um, Trey Young had actually a pretty bad game shooting wise. I'm surprised that they won that by this much. Um, Bogdanovich, he had a good shooting game. Um, I'd say a lot of their team had a good game. I'd say Trey Young was kind of the weak part in their team. Our team played garbage. Brandon Miller shot 5 for 20. That is terrible. And Lamelo played decent. No, our team did not play good. JT, ooh, that's bad to see. I don't want to see that from you. You're better than that. I know you are. The Knicks. Um, yeah, we're just gonna Ruby Hachimura, Max Christie for Mark Williams. I have to decline that. Yeah, I don't feel like playing this game. They don't have Jalen Brunson right now, so I don't see a point of playing this game. We are just going to simulate through a loss. That's fine with me. RJ Barrett went off. Their whole team played pretty well, actually. Um, yeah, we didn't really have that great of a game. I mean, yeah, with Gordon Hayward and Terry Rozier. Honestly, I feel like with those two, they're going to take a lot of shots and miss a lot of shots. So I think as soon as we get those players off the team and get some good players on the team, I think we'll be fine. Brennan Miller, he'll come into his own. I'm not even worried about him. He'll eventually be having good averages. Um, this is a rookie year. I'm not expecting him to play phenomenal. John Collins for Terry Rozier. 
I don't want to give up a first round pick. I've seen that the uh, Magic were four and one. I don't really feel like playing against them. I don't feel like they can, that they're not going to be as competitive as the other teams. I feel like they don't have the star power. Um, we'll probably end up losing. We won, but actually 22 points. That's surprising. But Markel Fultz, 26 points. Apollo, 23. But we kind of clamped up Jalen Suggs. Franz Wagner also got kind of clamped up because over 5 from 3, only 9 shots. What is happening, Franz? Yeah, Lamella Ball, Terry Rozier had a good game. Brandon Miller had a decent game. JT Thor had his good game. Yeah, that's nice. Now the Warriors. This is a team I do want to go against. I do want to play against the Warriors. I think... Oh, no, we have to play, like, the first and fourth quarter. Because I want to see the lineup of Chris Ball, Steph, Andrew, Draymond, Kevon. I'm surprised you don't have Clay in the starting lineup. That is so surprising to me. Wow. Yeah, let's get... Let's play this game. If I could, I probably would. I think next episode we are going to make a trade, though. A big-time trade. That is terrible. There's no reason. Lamelo, you didn't play bad. You have five turnovers. That's not good. Why is Nick Smith Jr. playing better than 90% of our players? Terry, 4 for 18 is garbage. Brandon Miller, 6 for 17 is garbage. I mean, I guess you get a pass because you had like Andrew Wiggins, Draymond, and Clay all on you that game. Terry Rozier, you had Steph on you at, at one point. The only other person that could have been on you was like Gary Payton, and he didn't play much. And when he did play, he was playing small forward. I didn't realize he was small forward. We let Andrew Wiggins drop 36. Steph dropped 35. Steph had 12 rebounds. What are you doing? Nick Richards, what are you doing? Where is the rebounding from you? Oh, that was tragic. Chris Paul had 24. Kevin Clay, or not Kevin. Clay Thompson had 21. Draymond had 15. They had two players with single digit points. This is dis this is a disappointing day. Who is this? I think I've actually heard of you. The Kings. We're not playing. We're not going to actually play that game. Uh, we had less. I'm not going to sign these fake players because that's just is stupid. Why would we do that? PJ, we need you back. I'm not gonna lie. We need some offense, honestly. I don't even know who could be that offense. That's that would want a okay deal. Unless we just sign somebody. Jeremiah Robinson Earl, you're here. You know what? For just one year, let's sign Joe Johnson. Uh, yeah, we didn't really change anything. I do think twenty four minutes though for JT is a little little much. Maybe not. He's he's has good splits. 
he just doesn't shoot a ton. He will bring him a stat bit. Give Nick Smith 20. Give Mark Slow a couple more minutes. And we'll give James a minute. I thought I put J. Yeah, I do have JT at the power forward. Oh, because Gordon Hayward's technically our power forward right now. We won by one point against the one and five Sacramento Kings. Brandon Miller, thank you for having a great game. Lamelo, thank you. Terry, you may have saved yourself for this season. That's a cap. We'll see. JT, good game. You know, this is a good game. Do we play this game? I say we play this game. Not this episode, but I'm going to say next episode we play this game. Yeah. I'm thinking next episode we can start scouting for trades. I want to make our first trade of the season of the of the C of the series. Yeah, that two two year 48 million is crazy for Terry. Same with like the one year 31 for Gordon Hayward. That's insane. If we were just to look, do we have any offers? Obviously, I'm not going to do a trade like that because that is just stupid. That makes no sense. It would be more like a trade like this to where two throwaway players that probably won't play much would come onto our team and we give away Terry Rozier. It's to, for us to free up some, some cap salary cap but like this Clint Capello or Brooke Lopez John Collins we're not doing that I just don't want especially Kevin Herter Kevin Herter is a good player and in my opinion Kevin Herter is better than Terry Rozier especially like a young Mitchell Robinson and I don't want to give up JT like nah we're, we're gonna we will probably get finessed in this trade that we're gonna pull off honestly though if we could pick up a player like Isaiah Joe, I I would do this. And I'll take on Victor Oladipo's contract. We can have VO come and mentor some of the young guys. Got five badges. What happened to his badges? See, this is just ridiculous. Why would why was that why would that even be an option? With Gordon Hayward, I don't even know how much offers we'll get. Oh, look at Kyle Lowry. I don't think they give up Hawkes. He's he actually played pretty good in summer league. Like taking on a Ben Simmons contract. Could we? Do we turn Ben Simmons' career around on our team? Do we? Do we pick up Ben Simmons hoping that we can? change how his career is going let me know in the comments that definitely is an option or even like a Devonte green doug mcdermott and we give up a late first round pick just so we can get rid of this huge salary cap or this huge salary i would love tyus jones i think tyus jones is one of the great greatest backups in the league right now as a point guard you know what we'll we'll see next video what what some some of these trades hold maybe we can throw in a young guy like my like bryce mcgowan i really don't i'm not like a huge fan of him just because we don't need that backup shooting guard but, like, if we could just get something like a Jay Sean Tate or something. So we got Nick Smith Jr., same age, and in my opinion, probably a little bit better. I think we'll be okay.
Um, so I'm going to end this video here. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. We're trying to get to 100 subs by the end of the year. January 1st of 2024 is our deadline. So if you can help us get to that, that'd be amazing. I um, hope you guys like the video. And hopefully you guys like the edits that I'm going to put in this. If I did, we'll see. Maybe I just cut this last bit out. But I'm going to try to put a ton of edits in. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to sleep first. And then I'll probably edit tomorrow and upload it tomorrow. Alright, that's it for this. I'll see you guys next time. We'll go against the Bulls and make our first trade. But I would like to say I think we got our star in the making. And... Brandon Miller. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.